Welcome in. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Recently, I've been styling my hair a little bit differently, and so many of you have asked me if I could do a demonstration and show you exactly how I put it together. That's what we'll be doing today. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. I actually have exactly the same haircut that I've had for several months now. I'm just styling it a little bit differently. Today I'm going to show you the entire process from fresh out of the shower with wet hair to the finished look that we have right here. As always, all products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below, so super easy for you to find. And with that, Let's hop in. The products that I'm currently using on my hair for shampoo, I'm using the Hyel. This is their Hydrate Shampoo. I love this. This leaves my hair so silky and shiny and it really does strengthen the hair. One thing I can say about this shampoo is it's very, very concentrated. I often end up putting too much on my hair when I don't really need that much at all. So just use a little bit and work up from there. The conditioner I use is also from Hyel. This is their Hydrate Mask. I really do like this conditioner very much. And again, it is extremely concentrated, so I only need the smallest amount for my hair. I go ahead and wash my hair with the Hyel shampoo, and then I just put a small amount, maybe about half of a teaspoon onto my hair, work it in, and let it sit in my hair for a few minutes. The one product I use on my hair that is color specific, in other words, it's for people who lighten their hair and don't want it to turn yellow. So if that's not your hair color, this is not for you. But if you do have lightened hair and want to keep it more of a cooler tone than a warm tone, this Malibu Blondes shampoo is wonderful. I use the Hyel shampoo. I just do one application of the Hyel shampoo and then I do an application of the Malibu Blondes. Let that sit in my hair for about three to four minutes and then rinse it out. And it keeps my hair a nice cool tone and keeps the yellowing out. Once I've gotten out of the shower and towel dried my hair, that's when I use the Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner from Hyel. And I simply just spray this all over my hair. And following that, I use the Kenra Styling Gel. This is their number 17. I put about a teaspoon in the palm of my hand rub that together and then that just goes all over my hair and I work in the leave-in conditioner and the styling gel all at one time. The only thing I've been using to style my hair lately with this new hairstyle is the Revlon One Step. I really looked at this for a long, long time before I pulled the trigger and went ahead and bought it. And oh my gosh, I was so glad I did. I thought originally that this might not work for my short hair, but it works beautifully. This has been such a gift to me for my hairstyling because it's so quick and so easy to do. This dryer has a few settings. It has a low and a high warm setting and then it also has a cool setting. I use the high setting to just dry my hair all over before I start styling it and then turn it down to the low setting when I want to start creating volume and lift to my hair. Now that I have my hair mostly dry, in other words, it feels dry to the touch, but you can tell there's still some dampness within the shaft of the hair. That's when I'm gonna turn the volume down to low on my hair styler and start lifting and volumizing my hair. As I'm styling my hair, I do it in sections and I use these little duckbill clips in order to keep my hair separated so that I can style the section I'm working on. So I'm just going to clip up the top part of my hair Turn my dryer on to the warm setting on low and start building volume and shape. And you can see just those few passes on my hair has really created a volume and lift and a nice curve to my hair. I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around the back and over onto the other side. Now 
now that I have that first lower layer done, I'm going to drop down another layer of my hair, keeping the very top still up on the top of my head, and work that around my head in the same way. Now I'm going to drop the rest of my hair down and work on that very top layer using the same movements all around my head. To style the very front of my hair, instead of turning it under, I rotate the brush in the opposite direction. And you can see that gives a much more sweeping look to my bang area. Now that I have my hair mostly styled, this is when I go and do my makeup and give my hair a chance to really dry and settle into the style. I style my hair with a pick. This is one of those little plastic picks you can get almost anywhere in the drugstore or off of Amazon. For hairspray, I use the Kenra 25. This is their Super Hold Finishing Spray. I love this hairspray. I have tried a lot of different hairsprays, including different formulas from Kenra. This is the one I always end up going back to. To add more lift and volume to my hair and have it stay throughout the day, I do a little bit of backcombing. I usually start with the crown of my head and I just backcomb pretty lightly with that pick. What I want to do is lift up that area of my hair and create a little bit of volume at the root. So you can see it right there. What I do is I take my hairspray and I spray that area underneath my hair so that volume will stay throughout the day. Then I move along to the sides and I wanna stay right at the root area and just create a little bit of volume. Spray with my hairspray and I'm gonna let that dry for just a few seconds. And then over onto this side, Right at the roots, I want to create a little bit of volume and spray. So now you can see that I have created lift and volume right at the root at the top of my head in order to give the look of a little bit more fuller hair. Once that hairspray underneath has dried, then I just take my pick and I just gently start laying the hair down. And I don't want to disturb that back combing too much because I want to keep that volume in my hair. Once I have my hair all smoothed out with a pick and it's in the shape I want, that's when I use a finishing touch of the hairspray over my entire head. And there we have the finished hairstyle. I want to thank you for joining me in this video on how I style my short hair. I hope you found it fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that.
and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.